फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बैंक एग्जाम कैफे एट द वेरी आउटसेट आई टेक एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू विश यू ऑल हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस न्यू ईयर आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट इन द कमिंग एग्जाम 2021 यू विल कम आउट विथ फ्लाइंग कलर्स योर हार्ड वर्क एंड डेडिकेशन विल ब्रिंक लॉरेल्स टू यू सो फ्रेंड्स विश यू ऑल अ हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस न्यू ईयर today we are going to discuss one more case study based question and this is part 26 previously we have uploaded 25 parts and i request you to watch all this 25 parts so that you will get an idea that which type of questions will be asked as case study based questions and how to deal with such questions i also request you to download the pdf of assessment test number 2 of 30 marks and the time will be of 1 hour solve this assessment test and check how much you have done and how much you can do now let us move to the first question of today's episode friends on one of my video there was a comment from krishna priya she was asking that sir i have one doubt that in the exam we should show the steps for getting the answer or we can directly write the answer in the answer sheet so here i would like to tell you friends that case study based questions are mcq type questions and in mcq type question you have to just select the answer which is the correct option of course you will have to solve something that you can do in your rough work or even you can do in your mind if the question is very easy but there is no need to show the steps we call it as a working working is not important only the answer is important so you are supposed to write only the answer in your answer sheet i hope your doubt must have been clear now here we will see the question so friends here is the question raj has a packet of toffees or candies it contains 120 candies he arranges the candies such that in the first row there are three candies in the second row there are five and in the third row there are seven and so on answer the following question friends raj has a packet of toffees containing 120 candies and he arranges these candies in such a way that in the first row he keeps three candies in the second row he keeps five candies and in the third row he keeps seven and so on and you have to answer the following questions so the first question is here that total number of rows of candies will be how many rows will be there because there are 120 candies and you have to find the total number of rows so friends here you know that 120 candies are there means sn is given to you sum of the total candies is given to you and you know the formula that sn is equal to n by 2 into bracket 2a plus into bracket n minus 1 close the bracket into d close box bracket so here sn is what 120 which is equal to n by 2 that n you have to calculate so it will be n by 2 into bracket this is 2a plus d is what so the arithmetic progression will be what the first will be 3 then it will be 5 because in first row uh, he keeps 3 chocolates in the second row he keeps 5 chocolates in the seventh row he keeps 7 candies and so on so the first term will a that will be equal to 3 and the common difference will be 5 minus 3 that is 2 so common difference is 2 so here you can put the value of a also that 2 into a that is 2 multiplied by a is 3 plus n minus 1 into bracket d is what it is 2 close the bracket so 120 which is equal to n by 2 after calculating this you will get it as 2 3 is 6 plus multiply by 2 inside the bracket so it will be 
n minus 2 close the bracket so 6 minus 2 that will be 4 and this will be 2n plus 4 take out 2 as a common factor so it will be 120 is equal to n by 2 into 2 as a common factor so this is what 2n plus 4 so it will be n plus 2 so inside the bracket it will be n plus 2 so here 2 and 2 will get cancelled and you will get 120 that is equal to n into n n square plus 2n here you are getting a quadratic equation so solve this quadratic equation that n square plus 2n minus 120 that is equal to 0 if you factorize this you will get the factors as n minus 10 into another bracket n plus 12 close the bracket which is equal to 0. Here the product of these two brackets is 0. It means either this bracket is 0 or this bracket is 0 and so it will be n minus 10 is equal to 0 or or n plus 12 n plus 12 which is equal to 0. So it will be n is equal to 10 or n is equal to minus 12. We will reject n is equal to minus 12 because the number of rows cannot be negative and so the number of rows that is equal to 10. So friends here the third option will be the B option that is 10. So in the answer sheet you will have to write just the correct option that is question number and then you will write B and also the answer that is 10. Now move to the next question. How many, uh, how many candies are placed in the last row? You have to find that how many candies are placed in the last row. As from the previous question, we come to know that n is equal to 10. It means the number of rows are 10 and we have to find the how many candies are placed in the 10th row. So we have to find a 10. So a 10 which is equal to what a plus 9 d. So which is equal to a, a is what it is 3 plus 9 into d, d is what it is common difference is 2. So it will be 9 to the 18 and 18 plus 3 that will be 21. So the correct option will be a that is 21. So you will have to write only the answer not this working in the answer sheet that a is 21. Now move to the next question. The next question is that find the difference in the number of candies placed in the 7th and the 3rd row. You have to find the difference in the candy, difference in the number of candies that are placed in the 7th row and the 3rd row. So what you have to find, you have to find A7 minus A3. So A7 minus A3 that will be what A7 is what A plus 6D minus into bracket a3 that is a plus 2d so which is equal to a plus 6d a plus 6d minus a minus 2d signs will change because there is a negative sign outside the bracket so this a and a will get cancelled and you will get this as 6d minus 2d that is 4d so which is equal to 4 into common difference is 2 so which is equal to 2 sorry 4 into 2 that is 8 so the difference between the number of candies in 7th row and the 3rd row is 8 and therefore the C option is correct that is 8. Friends move to the next question. The question is that if Raj decides to make 15 rows then how many total candy candies will be placed by him with same arrangement. Raj decides to make 15 rows. Presently there are 10 rows and he decides to make 15 rows. Then how many total candies will be placed by him with same arrangement? So friends, here we have to find the total number of candidates, uh, candidates uh, if there are 15 rows. It means we will have to find S15. S15 that will be equal to what 15 by 2 that is n by 2 into bracket it is 2a so 2 multiplied by a is what it is 3 plus inside the bracket n minus 1 
that is n is what it is 15 so 15 minus 1 close the bracket into d and that d is 2 so which is equal to it will be 15 by 2 into bracket this will be 3 2 is 6 plus this is 15 minus 1 will be 14 and 14 twos are 28 so it will be 6 plus 28 close the bracket so which is equal to 15 by 2 multiplied by 26 plus 8 that will be 34 so 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 2 7 are 14 and therefore 15 into 17 that will be 255. So the total candies required will be 255 if Raj decides to make 15 rows and so the correct option will be the C option that is 255. Now let us move to the next question. Tell the number of candies in the 12th row. Friends, here you have to find the total number of candies in the 12th row, whether it is 21, 30, 25 or 19. So write your answer, solve it yourself and write your answer in the comments box. And so friends, here you have to tell the number of candies in the 12th row. So I expect an answer from you. So use the comment box to write your answer. So friends, today we will stop here and I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. So thank you very much for watching this video.